Hello everyone! If you're not aware already, the Mario franchise is one of, if not the biggest video game franchises to date. There has been a countless amount of Mario games which hardcore and casual fans have enjoyed playing for over 35 years. However, I bet almost no one has played and beaten every single Mario game ever released. And that's perfectly fine. I do believe there is a small handful of Mario games which I believe everyone who classifies themselves as a gamer, must play, or a fan of Mario. So today, I will be telling my opinion on the must play Mario games. Please remember, if you haven't at least touched on any of the 7 Mario games I'll be discussing, there's no shame in doing so. But please, after this video, make sure to at least try one Mario game you haven't played from this list, which I'll discuss about in approximately 5 seconds. One. Super Mario Bros. Expect to see many mainline Mario titles. Anyway, the one which started it all, Super Mario Bros. Don't worry Donkey Kong and Mario Bros. 1983, I didn't forget about you, it's just I'm sorry to break it to you, but I personally believe you don't deserve the title of a must play game. Back to Super Mario Bros. This game was revolutionary at the time, without a doubt. It introduced side-scrolling 2D platformers to the world, and even was a reason as to why the video game industry got revived. Super Mario Bros. was revolutionary, and even though the graphics are nowhere near top-notch and, and the controls might feel slightly clunky towards younger players, the game is still a must-play, and definitely still worth playing. 2. Super Mario Bros. 3 even though Super Mario Bros. created the 2D Mario f formula, Super Mario Bros. 3 took the formula and created a much more enjoyable experience, in my opinion. Super Mario Bros. 3 added more unique levels, more created en enemies, more perfected power-ups, more... Well, I think by now you get what I'm saying. Well, Super Mario Bros. 3 basically did what a sequel must aim to do. 3. Super Mario World. After three or four, if you can, lost levels, 2D Mario platformers, you'd think Nintendo would dial down the rapid evolution of Mario platformers, right? No. Instead, Super Mario World is a game with a completely new engine. The game is a joy to play, the new power-ups are amazing, music is so catchy, the couplings haven't gotten stale yet, and new aspects of the game such as the addition to dino coins and secret ex exits, <laughs> really allow this game to cater towards fans who are good at Mario and fans who are also not so good at Mario. Not saying that they're bad, I'm just saying they're not so good. You may think there's no reason of playing Super Mario World if you have played another 2D Mario game. But the answer to that is there is a reason to play Super Mario World, as the game still stays fresh even if you have played another 2D Mario game before, whether that be a newer game or an older game. Four, Super Mario 64 The first 3D Mario game, Super Mario 64, was also revolutionary at the time, just like Super Mario Bros. This game may feel slightly outdated, graphics, uh, graphics as well, but otherwise, the controls are responsive, bosses are unique and enjoyable, and the mechanic of getting stars instead of, uh, is such a clever idea instead of using a flagpole instead. Super Mario 64 may not be everyone's favourite 3D Mario game, me including myself, but it's still a blast to play. I'd highly recommend this game to anyone, unless they've played Super Mario 64 DS, as that is just a remake. 5. Super Mario Galaxy 1 or 2 Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 may have been a more linear 3D Mario game when compared to Super Mario 64, Sunshine and Odyssey. Yet, I personally believe it deserves the title of a must play over Sunshine and Odyssey. Why? Well, this is mostly due to the main creative mechanics of the Galaxy games, which is the concept of Mario maneuvering from planet to planet via jumping, launch stars and etc. Another amazing mechanic the Galaxy games offer goes hand in hand with the other mechanic. The second mechanic are the physics of gravity. These two amazing concepts are why you must at least play one of the two Galaxy games. In my opinion, I prefer Galaxy 2 over 1 just because of one word, Yoshi. 
And also because they are just amazing, you know, bosses, power-ups, characters, etc, etc. 6. Super Mario 3D World I've said it before and I'll say it again. Super Mario 3D World is my most replayed Mario game, period. And it certainly deserves that title. The new power-ups such as the Catsuit and Double Cherry are amazing and so unique, and they're not extremely overpowered. The bosses are a bit on the easy side and same as the levels, yet they're still all memorable and enjoyable. Even Boom Boom and Pom Pom. Finally, the addition to an actual multiplayer in a non-2D Mario game pleases me so much. The characters also have certain strengths and weaknesses, which is really just icing on the cake. This game may be a bit on the easy side, excluding post-game of course, but if you have a Wii U dusting up in your cupboard, I personally insist you to first clean your Wii U of course, and next buy and play if you haven't bought Super Mario 3D World already, and play it. If you don't have a Wii U, but a 3DS. So Mario 3D Land is also another phenomenal game to play. However, I believe it shouldn't earn the title of a must play. Sorry, 3D Land fans. If you don't have a Wii U nor a 3DS, but have a Nintendo Switch, I do think there is a somewhat reasonable chance of there being a 3D World port. Wait, when I wrote this script, I didn't actually know there was going to be a 3D World port, but now they already confirmed it. That's why the script is kind of outdated. However, I am definitely not certain nor close to certain of there being one, even though Nintendo already showed that there was one, but once again, I read the script like over three months ago. <laughs> well, seven, any Mario Kart game. Now for this last pick, I just couldn't choose one Mario Kart game, as the Mario Kart franchise is one of, if not the best selling Mario spin-off series. I'd certainly recommend it to anyone to at least try one Mario Kart game. In my opinion, the original 64, DS, Wii, and 8, just, it doesn't really matter which one you play, but you must at least just try one Mario Kart game. Besides, of course, Mario Kart Tour and the arcade titles, in my opinion. Every Mario Kart game has several different aspects, uh, which they all stand out and also aspects which they have in common. For example, the characters are just amazing, the controls are critiqued, courses are well crafted, and the items really make Mario Kart Mario Kart. All the mainline Mario Kart games are superb. If I could cho choose only one game to deserve the title of a must play, I personally give that title to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe as I personally think the courses, characters, items, carts, and battle mode, and the online mode are the best in the entire series. Even if some characters may not be too good, but then again, they have characters which aren't even Mario characters, and I personally think that's amazing. Well, out of the wide variety of Mario games, if I had to only pick 7 must play titles, once again, I'd choose Super Mario Bros, Super Mario Bros 3, Super Mario World, Super Mario 64, Super Mario Galaxy 1 or 2, Super Mario 3D World, and any Mario Kart of your choice. But if I had to choose one, I mean, but if I had to choose one Mario Kart game, it would be Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. You know the drill. Thanks to everyone who watches my videos. And anyways, I better wrap it up for now. So, thanks for watching, see you guys later, and bye, bye.